just beyond the larger-than-life signs that pepper Fenway Park in the twisted angles and unreachable heights, you'll find John Coyne behind the scenes, or should we say, above it. I'm a sign man by trade. I used to do the sit-go sign for years. We climb flagpoles, we climb ship masts. Where you can't get a crane, we can maybe get to where you need us to be. So where the crane ends, John begins? Straight up. Well said. <laughs> straight up and straight out. John says his lofty goals started early on. When I was born, I climbed out of the womb. <laughs> I did. I really did, but I've been climbing since then. Started with trees and things, and then we used to come to town at night, climb staging. On this day, on the job meant replacing rope on the second highest structure in the park, the flagpole above the press box. Under rainy conditions, we wondered if this real-life Spider-Man gets nervous. What's to be fearful of? I'm fearful when I'm down in the crowds. You know, I get away from the crowd, I'm doing much better. This isn't high tech. He uses a simple rope and pulling technique that dates back to the earliest days of climbers. His work has taken him to amazing heights, from breathtaking views in Thailand to famous memorials in the U.S. He believes he has climbed nearly every flagpole in Beantown. No advertising, he says just word of mouth, and the serendipity that often follows one on the path of doing what they love. It's about the view for me. I just love a good view. There's so much noise everywhere. You get away from that. His motivation evident in his gaze at the top. You know, see things, think of things, you know. People don't take time to think anymore. John says he has spent about 50% of his life high, high up that is. And with those kind of hours, we wondered how many things he has climbed. I climb structures just for the hell of it. So anywhere I've ever been, I've climbed something. That's the truth. I mean, I just do that on a whim. If there's something to climb, I climb it. In a small Swansea office, we found a place where medicine meets art. It's like doing arts and crafts. I love that in high school. That was where I excelled. It kind of just worked out perfect for me. Is that an onlay? Clyde Hino has been molding smiles for nearly four decades as a tooth technician. An intricate process carried out by a team of seven that is most like a mix of pottery, carving, and painting. We look to hire people that are artists. A ca that raw capability of either duplicating what they see really well. You have to be able to see symmetry. Make your crown different from another lab's crown is how much you can make it look like real teeth. The lab takes your dentist molds and scans the framework into a computer. Then the design begins. And things really heat up. We pour it up into stone models. And then we actually wax up a coping and what was in wax is now going to be an investment. We melt out the investment and then cast gold right into that and we end up with our framework and then build porcelain on top of it. If you were to cut your tooth in half and you look at the different layers, we do the same thing with our porcelain buildup. The final step, perhaps the hardest. The form is covered in shades ranging from pink to gray. It's perfect. I love when that happens. So what would not job be without some odd requests? Believe it or not, not everybody wants their choppers white. Some prefer Cookie Monster blue. It was an odd request at first. It was a computer person and he wanted that blue that is on the light that you see on computers. And then one of the office saw that on our Facebook and their patient wanted a Bluetooth as well. From start to finish, each tooth takes about 10 days. Around 4,000 of them crafted annually. A lab where the tiniest details matter, most of it beyond the depths of the human eye. But every cut, every layer makes a difference, creating a gift that truly does keep on giving. A smile. I'm still stuck on the blue tooth. All right, well, there are some un other unusual tooth requests as well. How about asking for a Corvette, palm trees, and rainbows on patients' teeth? I guess there's something for everyone. Next, the fast-paced, high-stakes world of bingo.